The U.S. Navy's 3D sonar images provide the first view yet of the Francis Scott Key Bridge now resting on the muddy bottom of the Patapsco River. What we're seeing in the water is that the wreckage has been completely collapsed. Some people use the term pancaked. 3D provides the best visuals of the razor sharp metal that dive teams will face as they start cutting the bridge into smaller pieces to be lifted out of the water. The water itself so cloudy and dark, divers can only see a foot or two in front of them. Shining an underwater light only reflects back like a snowstorm, making photos or video nearly impossible. That's making it very difficult to even determine where to cut, how to cut, it's very dangerous for our divers to be able to go into this area. Above water salvage teams have been using torches to cut and remove massive chunks of the bridge, some weighing 200 tons, as the Coast Guard has now opened two small channels, mostly for tugs and barges involved in salvage operations. The massive scale of the cleanup coming into clear focus. Two SBA disaster offices now open for local businesses threatened by the disaster as the governor presses corporate America not to give up on this region's critical economic artery. And so making sure these businesses know that we need them, we want them, and they have to stay here in the Port of Baltimore. Four workers remain missing in the water, and clement weather and dangerous conditions have made it unsafe for divers to return with those families in an agonizing wait. Lester. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.